Hey guys, it's Chris, known as Gearnor on the Shaving Cadre and other fine places uh, across the internet and interwebs and game places and everything else. Anyway, it's Monday. It's, I don't know what it is. I think it's the 29th, something like that. Is it? I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, I can't look. Dang it. Something like that. Anyway, in a couple days, it's going to be New Year's, Christmas. Just flew by, had a nice day off, nice time. Today I'm going to be using one of my uh, presents from Christmas. It is the Art of Shaving Bourbon. I got this from my uh, Rudolph gift exchange buddy on the TSC. I guess it's, I keep wanting to say the TSC, but that would be like the, the Shaving Condre. It's just TSC. Gotta get used to that. It's only been over a year, <laughs> almost two years. Anyway, really, really excellent cream. I love Art of Shaving creams, so we're gonna use that today. And also I've got my uh, Yaki SF or Sagrada Familia brush. Me topping things off after some post shade with Zaharoff Pour Hom. And for the razor of choice today, I've got my Gillette M. Gillette. Chic M. Uh, I'm going to bump up the setting a little bit, actually. We're going to go for setting four. It's got a Chic um, twin blade in it. Very nice, very smooth. Used that for the first time yesterday. Technically not the first time. I used a twin way back. Many moons ago, months rather, when uh, John the Monkey sent me some of his injectors to try out. But uh, oh, bourbon, it's just a winter scent. I did get a little bit of um, heat from it yesterday, some kind of reaction, I think. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen today because this is really nice. Almost up there, maybe a sliver under. Art of Sandalwoods, uh, or Art of Shaving Sandalwood. I cannot speak today. Happy Monday. <laughs> anyway, let's get this going. Just gonna load up a little bit of the cream here. I think that'll do it. Probably more than enough. Yesterday I took off an entire glob. It's been a while since I've used a cream, particularly Art of Shaving which is, happens to be my favorite cream. Our saving just nails their scents. They got some killer scents. And their creams are, for me, out of what I tried, which isn't much, but out of what I tried, it's top notch as far as creams go. But this is a really nice, rich boozy kind of dark and deep bourbon scent it's a little bit flingy today actually but um a little bit of wood and dark smokiness some sweetness and just a touch of powder on the top. Really nice. It paired really well with, um, yesterday I used it for the first time with, um, what was it? Aqua de Gio, um, Absolute uh, Instinct. Just kind of a, woody dry down scent that paired really well work it up really good probably working it more than i need to but you can see just nice thick lather smell is just wafting in not feeling anything yet Let's see what happens during the shave I don't know what it was. We had some cold weather here, a lot, actually, over the last week. 
just been getting colder and colder. I mean, colder for the West Coast, which is like, you might be getting down into the 20s at night, something like that during the day, it might be 50s. But it's been messing with my, the tenderness of my skin a little bit. Yesterday, setting three was having a little bit of trouble cutting through everything. It was a little too mild. There you go. Nice and smooth. So it was a good Christmas. I told you that I was closing up after the Christmas Eve services. I didn't get done till around one. Probably didn't get home and to bed till around 2, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. And then we were up at like 8.30. We did our family Christmas at home together. Nobody else, just our family. A couple hours to do that. We got our Santa gifts and opened my Rudolph gift here and our gifts to each other. And then we packed up the car and headed south a little ways, about an hour and a half to where the grandparents, my kids' grandparents are, our parents. And we got two more Christmases with friends and family. Really nice time. It's made out of like bandits. We had a bunch of cool stuff. Gift cards and toys and electronics. And gosh, to be a kid again. But I got some cool stuff too. From uh, my wife and my sister-in-law who got my name from our, my wife's side of the family does a name out of the hat kind of thing we pick a name out of the hat or bucket or whatever blindly on thanksgiving every year and then we have until christmas to buy the person something we get them a gift or two and we always somehow i always end up picking one of my other sister-in-laws or her soon-to-be husband they got engaged i was excited on christmas morning unexpected They have a daughter, daughter together, and uh, it's been a long time coming. So, congratulations to them. But anyway, so my other sister-in-law and my wife got me. Uh, they worked together and combined efforts to get me some starter essential oil stuff. Did a pretty nice range of scents from stuff like ginger and vetiver and patchouli and uh, pink pepper and uh, what else did I get? Star anise. Worked a bunch of stuff. I gave ideas of a kind of list. I didn't get any of my um, lighter, brighter scents, so I'm going to have to find a few of those before I get started, but I got some pipettes and some spritzers and roll-on applicators. In addition, I got a nice um, canvas and leather dot kit from my in-laws. But a really nice, can't wait to get into it, um, loaf of cranberry walnut bread from my parents and some nice jams. Looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And then I got the artist shaving bourbon cream. 
high quality stuff. No burning. I'm just realizing now, I don't have anything at all. So it must have been the morning, either because I woke up early or just got, just got out in the shower or something. Yes, I didn't take a shower today. <laughs> I take one, try to do it every other day, save some water and still keep myself clean. But I do shave every day, so. Here's that. You know, some folks, that's weird. Some folks have to shave every day. Some folks don't shower quite as often. I know. But as a certain fire duck says, it is what it is. Pass three. Other exciting news. We've got some nice Piff said one on the way. One from TSC. I just won um, uh, Mr. Doug's uh, end of the year, end of 2019 Piff, which included an L injector, a G injector, and some nice soaps. And some gem razors. Yeah, I'll be getting that probably early next week. Just got popped in the mail. That's exciting. I'm looking forward to the L injector. I like mild razors, and L is supposed to be pretty mild, pretty close to the M. Which is adjustable, of course. The L isn't, but I usually use the M in fairly mild settings. And there's also a G injector, which is supposed to be more aggressive. So it'll be fun to try those out. So the twin, twin blade injector, though, injector blade. This guy, I don't know if you can see it, but there's. They squeeze two blades in there. It doesn't fit in every injector, but it happens to fit in the M. I think the newer model injectors that it usually works in. I've never used a Schick before blade. The ones that were in John's razors, for the most part, I had to switch out with uh, Personas, I think. I got those from Supply. Supply razors, and they're okay. They're a little rough. It takes them a couple shaves to smooth out, and they don't last very long. But the uh, Chinese Schick blades are really nice. Smooth, sharp. I guess I'm gonna have to make that switch. They're more expensive. Unfortunately, not as, well, I guess they're readily available. They just, you have to order it over the net. I don't know if there's any places in town. I haven't bothered to look that to carry them. Some folks have that luxury. I haven't noticed any yet. Alright, there's that. So for the new year, we uh, at the TSC, we're going to, the 31st and the 1st, we're going to do a kind of TSC thankfulness kind of shave, where those days we're going to use items, just items during the shave that we got from some affiliation with the TSC, whether in a PIF, or bought from an artisan there, or bought from another member there. And so that'll be interesting. I've got a number of things that I've received from the very generous gentleman there. So it shouldn't be a problem for me to find something. Plenty of good soaps, a couple razors. In fact, some soaps I still have to try from Dave in Kentucky. I'm looking forward. 
I think I'll use the, uh, is it Sudsy Soapery? Can't remember. No, not Sudsy Soapery. Soapy Science. I haven't used that. He sent me a tub of Soapy Science. There, a citrus lollipop. We're good to try that. Of course, I got a bunch of CBL soaps. So I have those bases covered. But I am working New Year's Eve. We get New Year's Day off. I think I'll stop pushing it. I think you go on forever. The end is so like mild that if you're careful enough, you could just stroke all day. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're at 16 minutes. I'll do a little lather soak here. Get some of this goodness back on the face. I know our shaving. Being owned by Procter and Gamble gets kind of a bad rap sometimes. Oh, they're not good creams. I've had better. So expensive. But to me, probably one of the better creams. And scents are powerful good. I mean, compared to an artisan soap like CBL or something, maybe they're not as good, but it's like apples and oranges. They're a good gateway to get people into the hobby, so. Not a drop of burning. I am stoked. So happy that that didn't happen. I'm gonna have to figure out what happened, but um, I hope it continues that way. I'd really hate to have to trade this away or something like that. This is just good scent. Nice, rich scent. I guess it started out as, or is part of their Kingsman line, which uh, came out around the time of the Kingsman movie, I think is what it is. Maybe it was just coincidence, but um, it's no longer marked that way. They used to, they used to have special markings like Kingsman's line or something like that, but I mean, it's really nice. It's, for goodness sakes, it's 150 milliliters of shaving cream. That's a ton. It's got this nice packaging, reusable tub, good stuff. All right, cold rinse this stuff off. Today, the kids don't know it yet. We're gonna try to see the new Star Wars. We'll see how that goes. Well, there's that. I'm excited. Um, I love, love, love the movies. Well, at least anything with the prequels. They're a sad history and sometimes Some things in history should be forgotten. But anyway. It's been, despite uh, work and all that kind of stuff and, and the schedules I've gotten this year for this time of year, it's uh, it's been a nice week. And we get about, this is the last week Things are going to be kind of slow. And then right away, this Sunday, it gets kicked up back into the high gear with our upward basketball season, which is like 10, 12 weeks of just games after games, practices, late nights. And love the upward basketball stuff and the things they do. Not stoked about the work schedule. That's all right. Somebody's got to do it. Might as well be me. Do it right, right? All right.
Let's get some of this Zarhoff. Zaharoff. I keep wanting to say Zarhoff, but um, good stuff. George is actually a really nice guy and his business has just taken off. So kudos to you, George. Um, I have to tell you, George, if you end up watching this, this stuff has been growing on me. Really nice. You can see why it sold out over Christmas. Yeah, that's good. Put some more on later. Anyway, that's it. Had a great Christmas. Going to have a great New Year's, hopefully. I hope you do too. You can see the rest of us. And all the folks I was talking about at www.theshavingcadre.com. Join us there. We've had a bunch of new folks. Welcome to all of you. Glad you're participating, joining in the conversations and the posting and the shaving stuff. And um, that piff I got from Mr. Doug, uh, be on the lookout. Those of you that, the other folks that entered into the piff, uh, no new folks but the ones that had already entered before it ended. Keep an eye on that thread because I'm going to make a selection of stuff that I like and then the rest of it is going to be piffed to those people uh, somehow, I gotta figure that out, um, that didn't win um, but still entered. So there's still a chance for you if you had your eye on some stuff, it might come back up. Keep an eye on the thread. Um, I'll probably get it, like I said, early next week. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, have a great day. Catch up the rest of my shaves and what's going on on the TSC. There I, did. I said it again, the TSC. Catch up on TSC. There. All right, I'm done. Catch you guys later. Bye.